Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this footer, we have inserted this map and now in this lecture what we need to do, we have to create the second page. So here is the second page, motorbike and now we have to create the page and then copy the code of the header and the footer because it is the same and then we will create this subheader and then this post area and then this these sideboards and now let's start here is the control n and save it as motorbike dot html and here is and now let's copy the header here is this is the header copy it and paste it here here it is and then after this there is a section it contains the content area here I'm gonna create it section and here is its closing tag it contains the content and here I'm gonna insert the footer code and the closing tags of the body main and the HTML here is footer and here is its closing tag here first of all reduce this distance here is this and now it is ok footer and here is this so now it is created and all the things are ok and in the section we need to create the content area here I'm gonna reload it and then here is the motorbike and here you can see that the map is inserted this is the footer and now we have to insert this subheader in the content area and here is first of all here and here we have to create a div and here is the div and here is give it the class clear fix so now what is the function of this class by using this class we will insert a space before and after this div and so the content is not going to be float onto each other and we will give it the clear both property so that's why I have created this div and now after it we have to create the subheader here is the subheader and its width is full width and image is repeated here you can see that and it is enclosed inside a container and first of all here is create a div subheader and then here is the closing tag of the div and here is div and class and here is the container and here is this so now all things are ok first of all inside this container we will create a heading and then this text here is this copy it and here it is here is the h1 h1 and here is the paragraph here is the paragraph so this is the code of the subheader here is this and now we have to insert the background image by using the subheader class here I'm gonna reload it so here is just text and let's give it the style first of all I'm gonna give this clear fix property values and here is here I'm gonna write the clear fix also this and here is clear fix and 
it's okay and now let's give the background image here is the subheader class subheader here is the background url and here is images dot dot here is the background for dot jpg jpg and here is we have to give it the minimum height is 50 pixel 150 pixel and here is height 150 pixel and now let's render it so the background is inserted so we have to give it the padding inside uh, the background so a space is created around the text and then give the color to the text and now here it is the padding 35 pixel and then the 10 pixel for the left and right and 0 pixel for the bottom and now here is the color is become white and then here is the text shadow 0 and here is the 1 pixel for the y axis 0 and here is black so a black type shadow is apply on this div here it is it is just a little shadow on the top side and here is the shadow is also apply on here on the text here you can see that the text is just like a black so the shadow is apply and then after this I'm gonna create a margin on the bottom side so a di distance is created between the subheader and the content that we will place below it and here is the color of the text is white and here you see that the text the color of this text that have the shadow is not white so I'm gonna apply the white color on it separately here is subheader here is P and here is color is become white here it is and now here is it's become white and now the next thing is we have to give the font size to this text and then we have to provide the margin on the bottom side of this heading here is copy it and then paste it here is the font size 35 pixel and then here is the margin on the bottom side 10 pixel and here it is and now here it is ok and now we have to create this part and let's create it here is after the closing tag of this header here is the header closing tag we have to create another div and here is div class here is the container and here is div and then here is the div give it the class row here is row here is the div and then after it we have to create a div who have the 65% width 66% width and the 33% width is given to this area so now here is the div here is adjust 
4 and here is the div and then here is the wrap code wrap code and then here is so now here in this div we have to put all of the three posts here is the first second and this third so all of these posts are placed inside this div and now i'm gonna make the first post so first post is in an article every post is placed inside an article so here i'm gonna create an article you can put the section or the div or anything you want and I am just using this article and then here is the article first of all we have to create the header of the post the header contain this name and this date and here is copy this and then here is paste it here and here is the name of the post and this thing is in the header here is class here I'm gonna give art header and here is this is a div and here it is so now this is the header and then here is this name is inside uh, anchor tag and here is the anchor tag when we take the mouse over this name so it contain a link we can click on it and we can go to another page and then here is the h3 heading to give it specific font size font styles here is h3 and then this text is inside a div here is a div and then here is the closing tag of the div here is the div and here is this anchor tag in, inside this event text is inside the anchor tag and here is hyper reference so now this is the header of the post it includes this name and the text and now let's check it and here it is created and when we take the mouse over it so it, it is underline it have the yellow color but now we will edit this color we will give it the different styles by using this art header class here is the art header and now after this we have to put the content of the post here is the content the image and the text and for this we have to create a separate a separate div here is separate div and here is a div and here is its closing tag here is this and first of all before this uh, before this paragraph we have to place the image here is this here is hyper reference here is this and then here is the image images 6.jpg and now it is ok there is a paragraph link and the header and all the things are inserted and now here it is now we will align this image we will give the style to this image then it will be ok and now first of all I'm gonna use this art header to give the style to the title of the post and the date on which it is created here is save it and now here it is 
art header here is art header and here we have to write h3 we will give it the style to the h3 here is the font size 25 pixel and here is the color is become gray type just like black it is dark gray black color and here is a margin on the bottom side of the heading is 10 pixel and now it is okay and here you can see that this is created its style is apply and now when we take the mouse over this anchor tag so here it is here I'm gonna write article the style will be apply on the art header that is in the article and here is copy this and now here is hover text decoration none here is none and here it is so now here you can see that it is adjusted and the next thing is we have to create this adjust for here I'm gonna copy this leave it and adjust for is taking 66 percent width 66.66 percent you can exactly give the 66 percent width here is 4 here I'm gonna remove it 0.66 or write it because we have give the 33.33 percent to the others and here is adjust 4 and the next thing here I'm gonna reload it so now it is created and the next thing that I want to tell you we have to give the style to this article by using this article we have to give it the margin on the bottom side of the post here you can see that there is a margin on the bottom side of the post and the padding inside this border and then we will apply this border and here is the style to the article and we will give this style in the next lecture so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video